Great news everyone, Dara Lake's open, which means the prawning season has started. And uh, if you want to have lunch like this, just uh, watch this video, come down to Dara Lake, get into the prawns, it's on. So before we go prawning, I thought I'd just give you a few tips on how to catch a prawn and what gear you're going to need. It's going to be a great night for prawning, it's nice and dark, the tides are just right. So I just need to do a quick check of all my gear. So most important thing is obviously a prawning net. Uh, very, very fine mesh, nice long handle, and uh, I'll show you how to use this later on. But the net you can get for around about less than 20 bucks at any good uh, fishing tackle shop. Next thing we need, of course, is a bucket for our prawns. I'll probably need a bigger bucket than this one, but uh, obviously once you catch a few in your net, you need to dump them in here, and um, the bucket, a couple of bucks in the old shop. Now, most importantly, you need a prawning light. This one is the Duck Scuts. It's absolutely fantastic. Before you had to have a charger, a motorcycle battery, big heavy thing, a backpack to carry the battery. Just a real hassle. But now, this one here, it's just so easy. Four AA batteries in the shaft, one twist of the light, and there's your prawning light. I'll show you how to use that very, very shortly. And one other thing I found very, very handy, just a small torch. So just walking around, just checking what's in the bucket, where you're going to, how to get down to the lake and things like that. Uh, actually, I prefer to use a little head torch, but I can't find it, so this will do. And um, shoes, I'm just gonna wear a pair of uh, wetsuit booties. Some people wear Crocs. Not a good idea to go in bare feet because you can't cut yourself on um, shells and things like that. So, let's go prawning. Okay, so here we are down at the lake, ready to catch a few prawns. Um, the tide's just starting to run out now, so they're coming along, so what you do, just look down here, I put my light in the water, and here they come, they just drift along, I put my net underneath like that, just keep them up, and it's very important to shake them down into your net as well. So here comes another one here now, put my net under him, and in he goes, give it a bit of a shake, another one again, and you can see they are coming thick and fast. The light's pretty essential, if you haven't got a good light, just like a little torch like that, they're very, very hard to see, and they don't come so close. As you can see, we're getting a little swag of prawns there. And after a little while, you need to go and empty them into your bucket, otherwise it just gets too heavy. Watch here on the action there. So it's a, quite a good scoop. She's a good scooper. She goes there. Are you getting a few, are you, Wendy? Oh yeah, they're so good. Any, um... It's not just how heavy they get, they start to jump out. you just got to keep them. Okay, so after a very busy night, uh, we finished about 11 o'clock, and this is the result, or well, half the result of our efforts. So two lovely big bowls of our prawns. Ned and Brett were also uh, had a, a great fishing session in Durris Lake with some beautiful flathead and a lovely black brim. And uh, so they'll be having a, a lovely seafood lunch there as well as the prawns. So it's all happening in Durris Lake.